Many students are having problems figuring out what the path to their website is. And that makes a lot of sense because Optana doesn't really show you. I'm currently in the workspace for my Optana and I've got my index.html page created. For me to go find that on the web, it's at mary.mccdgm.net slash web 105 index.html. Or if I take off the index.html, it goes there anyway because index.html is the default. And that needs to be index lowercase i, the entire world word lowercase for it to work. But how would you know that? Well, you have to know what your file directory is and what your root level is. You see that I have Web 105 set up here, and this is index.html. And I know that my Web 105 is um, set up specifically to map by my server settings. So I can go and look at my deployment settings. And its site name, that's just local. You call it Zebra. It wouldn't matter. But the server is mary.mccdgm.net. And then I put in my username and my password. which I should have saved. It makes life a little easier. And then it's in the public underscore HTML folder slash web 105. Well, you never show this. It's just mary.mccdgm.net net forward slash web 105. This is the part that becomes your path. So you need to know that for it to work. So now there is another problem you're going to run into, and I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to put in a new folder, and I'm going to put it in the Web 105, and I'm going to call it Project 1. And this should be working, but apparently it's a bug in the current version of Optana because it's worked in past ones. And again, I'm going to put a new file in here. And the new file is going to be named Index because that's always the default name in a folder if you just want to navigate to the folder level. So here I have the code for index and I'm going to put in my doc type. I'm going to put in my head information. I'm going to put in my title, Mary's Project 1. I'm going to put in my, oops, I forgot a tag. One thing you got to have in an HTML document is an HTML tag. And then the closing tag needs to be at the bottom. So after the head section, we have to put in the body, which has the body of our HTML document. And I'll put in my H1 tag, and I'll put in Mary's Project 1. Now this is going to cause an error. It shouldn't, but it's a bug that's running right now. Everything's set up fine. I should be able to upload the whole folder. Should be. Tells me file doesn't exist. I'm going to hit continue. It says there's a folder created. Let's see if it worked. Now, I got an error earlier when I did this. But in any case, I know it, that my root is mary.mccdgm.net. We don't type the public underscore HTML. We do type the web 105. And then I created a project one folder. And I can just put my slash there and see if it worked, which it doesn't appear to have. So generally, I work with the cPanel open at the same time. So I have my Web 105 folder here, and the Project 1 folder is in it. Oh, and the index is here. OK, that should have worked then. So let's try this again. So it's Project 1, and let's go ahead and type in index.html. I think my problem might be that I didn't save it. Let's try saving it and then uploading it. And let's try it again. And you want to refresh every time you do something. There we go. Now you need to make sure when you make a change and re-upload it, unless you hit refresh, you're not going to see it. Even if you open and close the browser, that doesn't force it to refresh. It's always going to prefer to load from memory. So you can refresh using this little curly arrow, or you can hit F5, and that'll do a refresh. But you need to know what your folder path is and what your root is, and that's how you know the path to your site.